Hi, I'm Jen, patient educator at PA Green Wellness, and the seminar you're about to see covers how PA Green Wellness uses regenerative stem cell therapy in its treatments. I'm here with Dr. McGill, who is our medical director, and we just do want to chat a little bit about what Dr. McGill has noticed regarding using this therapy. So, Dr. McGill, you're a retired family doctor. Yes. 60 years. 2,000 babies, Yes. right? So what do you notice about this therapy um, and the history of it with, you know, your history of delivering all those babies' umbilical cords? Well, we threw all those cords away. It was, we didn't realize the potential that they had. So uh, now, however, with the new knowledge, we're saving this, those cells. And, and uh, they're, they're the building blocks, stem cells are the building blocks of the, the body. We all have them, uh, we're born with a bunch of them. As we age, they reduce. But with stem cell therapy, we can uh, improve the, the longevity and also the activity of the stem cells. So what have you noticed since, you know, I've had an injection, Dr. McGill has had an injection of, of mesenchymal stem cells, but what did you notice after yours? More energy, uh, able to yeah. do more now than I did before. Yeah. I've been a runner forever, but I, I, I run more easily and, and even faster than I did yeah. before the injection. I noticed uh, a decrease in muscle recovery time. Yes. After mine. Yes. Um, better sleep, um, a hum, you know, like a bright reduction in brain fog. You notice anything as far as cognitive? Did you notice anything with that? No. No? Yeah. Okay. So uh, we're really honored to be working with Dr. McGill. Uh, I think he's an example of um, what we can expect in our country when we have um, seniors using stem cell therapy. Everyone is more relevant and there's time is coming when we won't know how old people are. So you're about to see a talk that the doctor and I gave a few weeks ago on regenerative stem cell therapy. For more information, contact the phone number on the screen and schedule your free consult. All right, good morning everyone. Good morning. I'm Jen, good morning. I'm patient educator at PA Green Wellness and today our topic is stem cells and specifically rejuvenation medicine. Uh, Dr. McGill is here with us today. He is the MD who supervises our Harrisburg office. And as we go through the presentation, you'll see our other doctors that uh, supervise our work. Uh, but we are an MD-driven practice. And uh, I like to give Dr. McGill a chance to say hi. He'll be uh, hanging out after the seminar. You can talk to him. I do ask that everyone keeps their questions till the end. If they are specific medical questions around your own case, you definitely want to save them for your talk with the doctor. We do free consults, and that's really the place for your specific medical conditions to be addressed. If you'd like to see a topic covered on um, a future seminar or a question that you have for me specifically, everyone has cards in their brochure handout where you can um, fill out your name, your email address, and all of that, your conditions that um, you're concerned about and any topics. Uh, regenerative medicine is all over the news and a lot of misconceptions. Everybody has a neighbor who has had some sort of uh, stem cell therapy of all different kinds with varying responses and there is a multitude of conditions that this therapy will aid in the treatment of. And so if you have anything specific, feel free to write it down there. Because we work with Predictive Biotech, which is the number one lab in the country, that gives me access to their medical director and a whole team of doctors who have been for years using this therapy. And I can often contact uh, another doctor and find if there's been an actual case of what type of injection was used for a specific condition. So if you don't hear me talk about the condition and you have it or you know someone who has it, you can write it down because I can get some personal feedback uh, from this network of medical professionals. 
I also want to say that this is kind of a meaty presentation. And I don't like to dumb down the material. I think that this, this stem cell therapy work is so powerful and so important in the future that we all need to know about it. It's not going away, it's only getting stronger, and it's going to have applications into many disciplines. We're gonna see it in dental, we're gonna see it in aesthetic, we're gonna see it in spinal cord work, and it's, it's going to pick up momentum, and the language is going to start changing. And so this really requires a consumer, a, a medical consumer who is proficient in language and um, a little more highly educated. And so regardless of what you decide to do today when you leave the seminar, I want you to take away language. What is in your brochures is, it looks confusing. You're gonna see some charts in here that you have no idea how to read. By the time you leave here today, um, you'll understand all the language and you'll understand what it's all about. When people come up and talk to you about stem cell therapy or relay their own experience or ask you, you'll be able to answer and you'll be able to spot erroneous news as well. You'll be able to tell when um, you're coming upon information that's not really accurate. Okay, so it is a meaty presentation. Also, I'd like to say this is not medication. We are not medicating a symptom. Um, this is creating an environment in the body where the body will rejuvenate itself. The body has a much greater ability to heal itself than most people realize. And what we are doing is creating an environment in the body where the body will level up and begin to turn their tissues, turn the body's tissues into more youthful tissues. And this is not about chasing youth. This is about marrying the advantages of advancing age. And, and I mean, there's a multitude of advantages, education, greater emotional depth, greater experience level, you know, the long view, maturity. Uh, these types of advantages we can now marry with youthful tissue and this keeps us all relevant. So when I have potential patients here who fall in the younger category and I would call younger category, you know, below 40, sometimes even below 50, they're more interested in biohacking um, or um, avoiding uh, future degenerative conditions. That's a completely different topic and it's, it's viable, it happens. Um, also injury recovery and avoiding injuries such as pro sports and that kind of thing. Patients in, in our age range over 50 are a little more interested initially on avoiding pain and alleviating pain and trying to get away from surgeries. But what they find is an entire menu of benefits that are available when your tissue literally starts to become more youthful. So it's no longer youth wasted on the young, all right? This is, a, this is a big adjustment. And I think, you know, for our country, you know, for our culture, there's a major advantage here in that we can all be relevant into our 60s, 70s, and 80s. And Dr. McGill is an awesome example of that, relevant into his 80s. And this is, you know, what our, I think our country, our culture really needs anyway. So it's a broader view, and I kind of want you all to kind of stay in that mental frame of mind, that what we're talking about is creating an environment where conditions heal. The result of those conditions healing is what you notice as symptom alleviation, all right? It's not medication. So PA Green Wellness is located in Erie, Harrisburg, King of Prussia, and Lewis, Delaware. We started in regenerative medicine uh, when we entered into Gaines Wave protocol. And I mentioned Gaines Wave, which is a treatment for sexual enhancement because it utilizes stores medical equipment, which is FDA approved from Sweden. And this is acoustic pressure wave therapy. This is also a regenerative treatment. It's very effective, creates micro trauma in the tissue. Uh, it'll realign collagen fiber and dissolve scar tissue and turn over aging tissue is very effective. Acoustic pressure wave therapy is very effective everywhere in the body. But when it is used in male genitals, it, we follow a Gaines wave protocol. And this is how we got into the, this line of work because 
That type of treatment, we started seeing a lot of requests for what's called a P shot, a PRP shot, or a platelet injection. Uh, a lot of people have heard about those type of injections. It's when your blood is withdrawn, your platelets are removed, and these platelets are re-injected back into the body. We got a lot of requests for that, and after months of investigation, we decided that platelets were last year, okay? They're just, platelet therapy is last year. And we wanted to become early adopters of mesenchymal stem cell work. The reason I still mention this as uh, one of our foundations is because uh, lots of time people use this in conjunction with their stem cell work. And every time we do a mesenchymal stem cell injection, we offer what's called EPAT, which is the acoustic pressure wave therapy of Gaines wave in conjunction. It has an amplifying effect. And so one of the things we like to offer our patients is help to get the most out of your mesenchymal stem cell injection. And the EPAT, which is also done as the Gaines wave, is an uh, amplifier. And so you will get more out of your injection. So what, that's, I would think, one of our advantages is that we make sure everybody gets the most out of their injection. So here's a really great picture. I love this picture. This is a team of us in the, at the Harrisburg office. Um, this is me in the center. Uh, you know, I think this is cool. This represents age spread. I'm in my 50s. Um, this is Pat. I'm allowed to say she's in her 70s. Okay, 70s young. And of course, Dr. McGill in his 80s. Uh, and, you know, we have Dawn, an administrator in her 30s, and this is the spread of, of ages that this stem cell therapy is helpful for. Um, the three of us here, we have all had stem cell therapy, okay? Dr. Croth is our supervising physician out in Erie. He is also a Gaines Wave spokesperson for us. And he recently was featured in Maxim Magazine and has done some TV appearances for us on this uh, as well. This is Dr. Croth and I. We do a lot of public um, education around this type of therapy, uh, the acoustic pressure wave therapy and the stem cell. This is a picture of me out in um, uh, La Jolla training on this type of therapy. This is the doctor who um, actually administered my injection. And this is a photo. So what I want to point out about this photo, this is the same, uh, the same facility out in La Jolla. Dr. Manny, my, my mentor, beautiful head of hair. Okay, that's stem cells. Right? She's in her late 60s, very thinning hair. Uh, she has a before and after picture up. That head of hair is from stem cell injections. And this is our nurse, one of our nurses who does injections. And uh, two key uh, players from Predictive Biotech. So the fact that we work with Predictive Biotech is, a, is very important, and we'll cover that more later. We have great communication with them, and they do a lot of uh, research, and they're very, for, they're very proactive in the application of this type of therapy at a high level. Every facility has a cryo tank. This is another thing that patients do not know to ask about. And so I'm gonna cover a couple of things that everybody should know to ask about. Where you go, the practice that you, where you receive your injection, they should have a cryo tank. All of our locations have a cryo tank. The inventory is always at negative 200 degrees. Nothing comes out of the cryo tank until you own it. We have a check and balance with predictive biotech, we are certified for this. And the injection of a mesenchymal stem cell is a lot quicker than people think. You pay for it, we pull it out of the tank. It is body temperature thawed within five to seven minutes, mixed to the appropriate matrix that we think is gonna be best in your body and injected. And this all happens in under 15 minutes. And this keeps the product vital and signaling. So this is another topic that patients don't know to ask about, that when you use mesenchymal stem cells that are derived from Morton's jelly area of the umbilical cord, they are the most vital and signaling cell. When, people are, when you hear people say, I had 20 million stem cells 
you know, in, uh, IV injected into my blood. We don't do that. It's almost irrelevant. What are they counting? What is the 20 million? Are these viable cells? Are they just a nucleus? It's difficult for the patient to wrap their mind around the fact that it's not the number, it's the viability. You want them alive, you want them vibrant, you want them signaling in your body for months. And that's what we get with predictive biotech. This is what the product looks like. Sometimes I have patients hold in their hand to let it thaw. Everybody should see what they're getting. Another thing I've noticed is um, when at other seminars or at other presentations, there is this vague measuring, a unit. I'm getting a unit in this knee. I'm getting a unit in that knee. What's a unit? A unit is totally made up, all right? We don't do that. We tell everybody uh, exactly how many cc's of which component, and we educate you on it. We don't just inject stem cells. We inject growth factors, and there's other components that we might recommend to you. But we have full transparency as far as what you're paying for and where we are injecting it. This is our office in Delaware, which you could expect to see if you were down in Delaware. Delaware. Um, okay, why we are excited? Well, we're an early adapter, and an early, an early uh, adapter means that there's not a lot of people in this area doing it. And we have some injections that you can't even get you know, east of Scottsdale, okay? So this means that we have a bit of a burden to do a lot of patient education because there is so much confusion around this. But the regenerative medicine has such an enormous potential. It is very, I like to use the analogy of a classroom. So a teacher stands up in front of a classroom and makes an announcement. And her goal is this student to stand up, okay? But in reality, her announcement is enough that maybe 18 students stand up. And this is what regenerative medicine does. It's a beacon in your body. So while you might not get a stem cell injection to clear up irritable bowel or bring down your high blood pressure um, or clean up toenail fungus or uh, reduce the number of wrinkles that you have, maybe it's your shoulder pain or your back pain, okay? Doesn't matter. All of these things, whatever falls under the umbrella of degenerative conditions, age-related conditions, whatever falls under that umbrella has the potential to respond to the signal. And your body knows what to do with stem cells. So this is not, it's, it's very simple actually. It's, it's, it's simple to wrap your mind around that your body will respond in all these areas regardless of where the injection is. A good way to think about what might I see respond to this treatment. And I'm, I'm gonna use my own case just as an example. I have a memory interruption and I have dementia that runs in my family. And I know that this treatment has a dementia protection in it uh, and it can it crosses the brain barrier and it can also help with um, brain fog and memory delays and things like this also uh, in relation to Lyme's disease I mean there's a lot of cognitive enhancement potential with this and I didn't see any of that uh, and I was I was a little disappointed um, but when I, you know, I checked in with the medical staff, I mean, I noticed the, I noticed an improvement in my sleep and I would wake up and I was um, more, more alert earlier on. I can pop out of bed really early. It's been five, well, well May, whatever it's been since May. It's been that long, five, six months maybe. And um, I'm, I still have that same um, vibrancy, additional energy around me. But my memory interruption hasn't gotten any better, and um, that is because it's wiring from when I was born. So the fogginess in my, in my brain has gotten better, but the wiring is not degenerative, it's not age-related. So the good news is it's not getting worse because it didn't improve. Um, and the bad news is it didn't fall under the category of potential improvement. So, you know, I'm still going for the, um, the dementia protection in it. Uh, and, you know, the lessening of the brain fog is great, but it's something to think about. That is the area of what can turn around 
all right? Not something that you're born with, something that is onset, injury-related, degenerative, or age-related. This is the type of comments that we see from people. I, I like to post this because everybody's different. What's important to person, this patient over here, is completely irrelevant and important to this person over here. And so this is the world of comments that we hear. Getting up earlier and more energy, no Advil, right? That's a, you know, that's a big deal, you know, for someone on 800 milligrams of Advil every day, uh, tired, you know, just slugging through their day. That's a big deal, never better. Uh, pain-free, pain-free, you know, until somebody's had pain, they don't understand the bliss of pain-free, okay? Um, no pain in my knees, this could mean no surgery, all right? And this is a financial issue, um, being out of work. You know, we had a personal trainer come through. You know, she doesn't want to be out of work. She's a personal trainer. So these, there's a financial impact. It's not just the pro athlete who is experiencing um, a, a financial hit from their pain. It's the everyday person. And th that's like, actually, I want to talk about that. I love the videos that we start with, with um, the celebrities who are starting to come forward having used these injections. I wanna say, I, I wanna let you know that's the, exactly the same product we stock. So when you see the Dean Kane video, that we have that shot. It's from Predictive Biotech, it's in our, it's in our cryo tank. It is, it is identical. Um, I do think it kind of, kind of sets an assumption that this type of treatment is really only available to celebrities and wealthy people, and it's not true at all. You'll see from our pricing and the fact that we have financing options that, and we are everyday people, also enjoying the benefits of it. It's not just a celebrity injection anymore, all right? It's available to the public. Pain level, all right, pain, pain the issue of pain is, is number one, all right, is the number one issue um, in this room. And um, we already covered growing old with vitality without disease. Uh, one of my favorite uh, slides is this comparison, but really not for what you might think. This sort of looks like we're saying, oh, this guy doesn't have stem cells. Oh, this guy has stem cells, right? So. There's like, there's an underlying story here though that I didn't really quite realize until I had seen patients coming through over and over again. When we hit an age, you know, where we look back on our life and, and we might have a decade where, we, you know, we kind of regret some choices, you know, maybe, you know, we see, I see this with military vets, you know, who were, uh, you know, had conditions visited upon them that they had no choice over or like a bad decade where you made bad choices or um, even depression, accidents, um, uh, surgery gone bad, okay? And, and the sense is, well, I'm stuck with that. You know, how can I get through the rest of my life, this guy but pain-free? The, the really cool thing about regenerative medicine is you're not actually stuck with these bad consequences, okay? This can actually be turned around. So you have history, maybe a bad decade, or maybe um, a period of time where, let's say you smoked or you caused damage to your body. That can be reversed. You're not stuck with that albatross the rest of your life. The healthcare system everybody loves to complain about. 80% um, of our pharmaceuticals um, our addictive painkillers, finally, society is waking up to the cost of this, and it's really just in time with regenerative medicine um, coming to the forefront with a lot of studies, a lot of acceptance, and it's kind of the perfect storm. It's the perfect solution for a giant problem. Uh, it's an economic problem. It's not just a health problem. It's a giant economic problem. The debate over the United States using 75% of pharmaceuticals. So, you know, on one side you could say, well, we're a wealthy country and we have access to medications other countries don't have access to. You know, maybe it's a better thing that we have access to more medications, but it doesn't explain the 75%, all 
okay? So yes, we, we, do, we do use too many pharmaceuticals and then what the doctor sees is, you know, multi-pharmacy, one medication and then that creates symptoms and you have another medication and then your pain medication doesn't work and so you have to have more and we have a, a drugged up, a drugged up culture and it's a drugged up workforce, okay? So this type of therapy eradicates this. And the, one thing I like to recommend to all patients is after you receive an injection, stay in touch with your uh, family doctor because your body's gonna change. And um, you know, there's a case um, out in um, Utah of a gentleman who had a stem cell injection and his kidneys rejuvenated and he, he was sick because he was still going to dialysis. He didn't even need to go to dialysis anymore. Um, we had a patient in New Jersey whose his blood, med his blood pressure medications um, were all out of whack because 15 years of high blood pressure dissolved. So you need to stay in touch with your doctor because your medications will change. Uh, we had another case of someone who had a very strong injection um, for a horrible um, neuropathy and nerve pain. His, nerve, his pain was gone that night, which does, which does happen, and he just stopped taking his opioids. So he didn't wean, you know, he didn't, he didn't dial down, and he ended up in the hospital uh, because he, he was off his opioids cold turkey. So that's another thing uh, you don't want to do. And I think that's a really a relevant story because he not only didn't need them, he didn't have the desire for them. So there is a component to this for breaking addiction. And during this approximately four month window, maybe six months, there's a little bit of a debate on how long these stem cells are signaling vibrantly in the body. Um, we believe with the EPAT therapy that we offer along with this for free, that acoustic pressure wave therapy, there, there is an amplifier. It does, to keep, it does seem to keep things signaling longer. There isn't quite the right language around that to say it's a booster and it's waking up the cells and they're signaling more isn't quite accurate, but that's how it's interpreted by the patient, okay? So during that four or six month window, whatever it is when these stem cells are signaling, is the time to make changes. That's the time to quit smoking, um, adopt an exercise routine. You'll notice your muscle recovery is a lot faster. You know, what you were not able to do before you might be able to do, okay? Uh, sir, our most common conditions that people come in for um, to have help with Inflammation, number one, sometimes they don't even know it, all right? But inflammation, uh, it, it causes problems body-wide. One injection, inflammation starts to come down, okay? It's, it's really quite miraculous. It'll modulate the immune system, stimulate growth of healthy cells. Uh, neuropathy, big one, uh, especially when we combine it with the acoustic pressure wave therapy, EPAT, very helpful, especially on feet. Um, did any degenerative disorder, which we already talked about. Ligament and tendon disorders, this is joint, this is also includes cartilage. Whatever your body can turn around in that signaling time frame is the result that you see. And, and another thing for uh, everybody to wrap their mind around is that what your body can do in that signaling time frame is what your body will do. If you need to grow 30% more cartilage to be pain-free and your body is healthy and supported enough and your injection strong enough for that to happen, you will find yourself delivered to a pain-free experience or an alleviation of pain experience. If your body needed to grow 50% cartilage to get you there and it could only grow 25%, those are the people that come back and ask for a booster shot, which is what we do. Very few people come back and ask for a booster shot, okay? But we do, we do offer it. And it's not an exact, regenerative medicine is not an exact science. You have to be open to what your body is going to do and support it as much as possible post-injection. We don't like to, anyone with cancer, we, active cancer, you need to be cancer-free for five years. We can't treat you if you have active cancer. 
no cortisone injection 30 days prior, and we'd like you to abstain from Advil at least the day before, okay? And we have some other guidelines that we like to help patients to get the most out of it. You have an injection scheduled and you are getting over the flu or you have a cold, we'd like you to reschedule it. People just seem, to, anecdotally, people just seem to do better after the injection if you're not fighting a cold or a flu. Um, uh, I think that's, I think I've covered all of those. And you, you'll hear all this again when you come in for your free consult. Uh, okay, this is where almost all the confusion around um, stem cells lies. Stem cell is not a stem cell is not a stem cell. They're different. There's different families. There's different types of stem cells. And in many cases, stem cell isn't even the appropriate word for it. I like human cell and tissue product. But, you know, I'm a patient educator, so of course I like that word. Nobody knows that word, but I want you to all remember it because I think the FDA is going to move towards using that word instead of stem cell to help differentiate. A human cell and tissue product includes stem cells and growth factors, okay? Stem cell is just a stem cell, all right? Stem cells that um, are derived from your own body uh, our call, uh, uh, we don't do that, all right? It's actually against FDA guidelines. It's very commonly done. And in the past, it has been about the only way to do it. You don't need to derive stem cells from your body anymore. And if you think about it, you're really, they're, they're, they say they take your fat out, pull the stem cells out of the fat. It's a very vague, you have no idea how much is in there. It's not very controlled. They're old, they're as old as you are. They're as sick as you are, and then they sell your own body cells right back to you, okay? There's no reason to even do that anymore. I feel like um, that's kind of hanging on because it's a very high profit margin. Um, medical professionals don't need to have a cryotank. They don't need to be certified. They're not stocking inventory. And there is an, a preference uh, among patients where they feel like maybe that's safer and maybe that's better for them than purchasing stem cells from a lab, which is just not the case, okay? There's no way that my stem cells pulled out of my body fat is even, even margin, it's like kindergarten compared to the stem cells that we get from predictive biotech, and it's the same price, okay? So definitely I can't say this enough that um, pulling stem cells from the body, from the body fat, is, is bad news, all right? You, you will see it pulled from um, bone marrow, all right? And that is only appropriate for the treatment, it's only approved and appropriate for the treatment of certain cancers like leukemia. And that's done in a hospital. Um, embryonic stem cells, it's illegal. No point of even talking about it. No, nobody's, nobody in the United States is doing that. Uh, mesenchymal stem cells. That's what we use. So mesenchymal stem cells are the strongest stem cells. They are the building blocks. And you can pull mesenchymal stem cells from body fat, okay? But remember, they're old and they're, so for example, they're already differentiated as well. So when you pull a mesenchymal stem cell from bone marrow, it's a bone marrow mesenchymal stem cell. When you pull it from your fat, it's a fat mesenchymal stem cell. But when we buy mesenchymal stem cells from predictive biotech, and they're taken from an umbilical cord, they aren't anything yet. So they can turn into anything, and they're less than a day old, okay? And they're the most vibrant and strongest stem cell. So, you know, this is the cream of the crop, all right? This is the best you can get, all right? I don't know, it's the Cadillac, it's the Rolls Royce, you know, whatever is the great, you know, the great car. But anyway, that's, that's what we're talking about here. Wharton's jelly. What's Wharton's jelly? It's this, it's this area in the umbilical cord that Dr. Wharton discovered, so he named it after himself. And everybody has known, most doctors have known for a long time that there's something in the umbilical cord uh, of value. And up until recently, it's just been human waste. It's just been waste, medical waste. They just threw out the umbilical cord. But I, I, for a long time, people have suspected that there was something extremely valuable in there, and now we know what it is. 
it's not just the mesenchymal stem cells, but there's growth factors as well in there. And this is the area where our lab, Predictive Biotech, will withdraw the mesenchymal stem cell. Uh, Predictive Biotech is an FDA-approved lab, by the way. This is what the cross-section looks like. Okay, so um, when you go home and you want to Google about stem cells, there's a couple words you want to take away from here to make sure you're getting accurate information. Wharton's jelly, mesenchymal stem cell, okay? Those are the, from an umbilical cord tissue, all right? That is, the pre, that is the premium therapy, and that's what you want to Google when you go home. You can, you're also welcome to go to Predictive Biotech's website. Everybody has a brochure from them. They have a lot of really good patient education in there. They have some videos as well, and they all, they're always doing new studies and upgrading. Everybody at Predictive Biotech is using their own product on themselves, which I think says a lot as well. So um, the other items that are in, there's about, when you go on Predictive Biotech's website, you'll see there's about 20 other healthful items that, uh, components that are in the Wharton's jelly of the umbilical cord. And these things all create an environment. So when you don't need just a mesenchymal stem cell to heal, you need growth factors and sometimes an anti-inflammatory as well in there to create this new environment. Depends on your health and your age, all right? And so this is why I prefer human cell and tissue product. It's not just stem cells. You're getting all of this, okay? You're getting all of this in your injection. A great chart, everybody has this chart. I love this chart because it's a nightmare to look at, okay? This is why everybody's confused, okay? This is the world of human cell and tissue product. This is why your neighbor telling you that they got a stem cell, you have no idea what they're even talking about. Where are they? in this world, okay? You can, you can get a mesenchymal stem cell from fat. You know, you can get it from an umbilical cord, right? We just talked about those. This is done in a hospital. The fat is against FDA guidelines and, and not high quality anyway. You could get it from umbilical cord blood, right? We don't do that. It's not effective. Um, and then you can get growth factors from a placenta, from placenta, and this is the whole world of it. Where we, where we operate with what we offer is right here, okay? So everybody has this chart. This is great information, all right, to educate yourself. But this is our world right here, umbilical cord matrix. This is the, this is the matrix of what's in our injections. Osteoarthritis, joint pain, degenerative disc, ligament and tendon, cartilage damage, um, TMJ, carpal tunnel, diabetic wound complications, that's a big one, okay? These ulcers, people losing feet, doesn't have to happen. Doesn't have to happen. Neuropathy, okay? Like I said, bringing down high blood pressure, brain fog. It's amazing what people can see as a change. This, this is a great slide just for really one line, all right? The stem cells in our bodies. So everybody knows you get hit by a car when you're 18, you know, versus I go out, get hit by a car, okay? The doctor is going to say to the family, good thing, you know, he's got youth on his side, the 18-year-old is going to recover. I don't know about me, right? I might, I might recover, I might not. And, and we all know, we all know youth. We recover better with, youth, with a youthful body. It's the stem cells. Okay, so, you know, when you're born, one out of 10,000 of your cells are stem cells, and they just decline. They decline as we age, and by the time you're over 60, it's one out of two million, okay? My age, you know, it's like one out of one million. Well, not anymore, because I had an injection. But this is, what cre this is what changes the environment, and it's completely natural to introduce this into your, um, into your muscle tissue, all right? Your body knows exactly what to do with it. I think everybody has this, this as well. That's in the trifold. In the trifold, okay. So 
the reason this is important is because this is where we start to get into um, transparency of what's in your injection. And another reason why I love working with predictive biotech, because they name what they have. And anybody, anybody down the chain, you know, and even in the public, can Google and find out what is in my injection. So when we use Coracite, uh, when we use Coracite, Polycite, and Amniocyte, we tell you, and we tell you why we want to add Amniocyte. Amniocyte is growth factors from amniotic fluid. We don't, we don't add that in every injection, but you know, in women it can be very helpful because women run a high inflammation in their body. Somebody has a lot of arthritis, it can be very helpful, okay? Polycyte, a lot of growth factors, of a few stem cells, right? Great, it's like a fertilizer, okay? Creates an environment in the body. Coarsite is the heavy, heavy concentration of mesenchymal stem cells. Almost everybody has coarsite in their injection, all right? It's just a question of do we then add uh, polycyte to it? Do we add polycyte and amniocyte? It depends on the environment in the body. Almost the only time we give just coarsite is when we have somebody in really peak health and physical condition like an athlete and they're trying to recover from an injury faster so they can get back in the game or a biohacker, a fitness buff, somebody who the environment in their body is already so helpful that these cells can go right to work, okay? Most of all of us, we need some polycyte and maybe some amniocyte in there to change the environment of our body to make it more conducive, okay? So core site is seed, polycyte is fertilizer, and amniocyte improves the soil. These, these have stem cells in them. This has growth factors as well. No stem cells in here, all growth factors. Therefore, technically speaking, this is a human cell and tissue product injection because we have stem cells and growth factors. Okay, this is not just a stem cell injection. Oh, healthy living. All right, N uh, number one question I get is, is this guaranteed to fix me? Um, you know, how, how long are the results going to last? The, those are medication-minded questions because we've been trained to think like that. Okay, the result that you see from your injection is greatly improved by healthy living. So dropping body fat, okay, changing a diet, having your medication reevaluated, and embarking on a fitness program. It doesn't matter if your muscle recovery used to be four days. After an injection, it could be 12 hours, okay? You might have no problem popping up in the morning to do things. Um, you'll, your sleep, your sleep will be markedly better, okay? And it's not just a factor of reduced pain. It's, it's a youthfulness in your tissues. You'll, you'll feel like, I noticed like a hum, okay? I noticed a hum. I had my injection on a Saturday. Uh, I noticed my pain in my shoulders was gone pretty much right away. I didn't really notice over the top until I had a really hard night of sleep Wednesday night. I just went down hard, woke up next morning, and I just totally felt different. And we see this described over and over. People struggle with how to describe it. You just feel different. I woke up, I just felt different. I felt like a buzz in my body. Everything was easier. Everything was just, just easier. And it's been like that ever since. Uh, we've already covered human cell and tissue product, HCTP. So be aware of that the FDA is going to be using that as an identifier in the future to distinguish between what is FDA compliant stem cell use and what is non-FDA compliant stem cell use. Oh, I want to talk about the FDA, okay? Food and Drug Administration. So the FDA has jurisdiction over food and drug. So when you withdraw a stem cell from body fat, the process changes that stem cell. That human cell and tissue product altered is classified as a drug. So the FDA has jurisdiction over it. So if you remember, that's a stem cell derived from fat and bone marrow, okay? So the FDA has to have a position 
And the FDA's position is it's approved, those stem cells are approved for treatment of cancer, right? Now the FDA has no involvement whatsoever in the stem cells that are derived at a lab. We use an FDA approved lab, they verify the process, but those stem cells are not altered and turned into a drug, okay? They're completely natural and vital and viable. And so the FDA has no opinion with how we can use them, right? So when you Google uh, stem cell and FDA and you see the FDA has approved stem cell use for the treatment of cancer, there, this is the confusion in the public because they're talking about only those stem cells that are derived from your body. They are not talking about these mesenchymal stem cells from Morton's jelly of the umbilical cord, okay? That is handled as far as, their, their guideline is over how the lab is extracting it. And um, we'll talk more about um, the importance of the lab later. A good thing, a good way to know what we do is to know what we don't do. We do not use stem cells from amniotic fluid. That's kind of a joke, really. I mean, there's like a few in there, but not really anything to talk about. Um, so let's see here. What we do use is growth factors. And so this is another miscommunication. Sometimes people think they're PRP shot or platelet shot or P shot. They think that's a stem cell. It's not, it's just platelets, okay? No stem cells there either. When someone is very attached to a, the idea of a platelet injection and they feel they don't need stem cells, you know, we have a new product coming out beyond PRP that does not have stem cell, that has a fewer number of stem cells, but it's an alternative to the PRP, okay? Um, replacing molecules from when we were younger. You know, this is, this is, we are built, we are born with these building blocks, optimizing the body's ability to heal itself. This is where everybody's mind needs to rest while understanding this form of treatment. We do not offer fat, uh, stem cells from fat, okay? We covered that. We do not offer stem cells from bone marrow. That's at the hospital, all right? No cord blood or IV stem cell therapy. Great way to get a blood-borne disease, all right? Your blood cleans itself a lot. It's oh, like a couple, every four days, something like that. So it doesn't last very long. And um, it's, not a, it's not in, a, in compliance with FDA guidelines anyway. So, you know, we've had patients who come in who they went to Mexico or some country in South America and they had this done and it didn't work. And, you know, uh, you know, newsflash, don't go to a country where you're supposed to take your own needles, okay, and think a good idea is an IV injection. Like, I, you, I wonder at people's decision making sometimes, but we don't do this and um, I don't, don't get it done, okay, don't fly to another country and get it done no embryonic stem cells, and nothing from other nations, okay? So, um, predictive biotech, only donated cords from live, healthy, full-term full births, only in the United States, pre-screened parents, okay? This is, they control, depending on who you talk to, 60 to 90% of the cord supply, which is important, because this means our pipeline is guaranteed, and the fact that we have cryo tanks in every location means our pipeline of supply is guaranteed. It's always fresh, it's always exactly the right temperature it should be, and we always have it on, on site. We're not shipping things in overnight where you have to wait four days for your injection, okay? This stuff is flown in, there are only two people authorized to sign for it. You know, I'm one of them and we monitor, when we do our own injections, we're pulling from our own tanks, okay? Um, the, okay, media is a great place for misinformation, but everybody at this point should have a good idea of the language around this so you can tease through. So you'll see reports coming through on the news and you'll be able to spot inaccurate information, okay? Um, uh, let's see, a while ago there was a report about um, the guy whose spinal cord healed from stem cell injection, okay? That's not this type of stem cell, and that was a government trial. That was nerve stem cells, okay? So they were different, differentiated stem cells. It worked, 
and we're going to see more of that, but that's not what this is. Um, growing teeth with stem cells, okay? You can grow a tooth with the right scaffolding in four months, okay? This is, that's not what we do, but that's where this is going. And that's a great application because dental work is so expensive that I think, I think we're going to see that um, take, take root, uh, happen more. We covered the FDA. All right, the fact that Predictive Biotech is an FDA-approved lab is, is very important. But more important than that is Predictive Biotech is the only lab with the patent to extract the mesenchymal stem cell from the Wharton's jelly area of the umbilical cord. Okay? What that means is every injection, we're talking about over 100,000, that has come out of this lab is exactly the same. It's the same quality. Okay, everybody's injection is the same level of vitality. We don't have this weird variation where sometimes an injection works, sometimes it doesn't. That doesn't happen with predictive biotech. They're not chopping up cord and making it into uh, an injection, okay? They, 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 are, they hold the patent and they're the only lab who does. A little more about predictive biotech, um, along with this is just all showing how they follow FDA guidelines. You have a handout in your packet uh, outlining exactly what predict, how predictive biotech processes. This is also on their website. Okay. Uh, so, are you ready? Um, to embrace all these things. I mean, this is, this is youthfulness and healthfulness. Um, you know, we offer, we offer financing. We have on the spot, on the spot decision of, for financing that we can offer patients now because our mission is, you know, we are not the celebrity. You know, we're every man's stem cell injection. Everybody should have it. I've benefited from it. Dr. McGill has benefited from it. Everybody in our organization who has had this is blown away. And we want to see everybody have access to it. Uh, every, okay, so everybody saw the Dean Kane uh, clip when you came in. Um, he actually received what we call the Superman injection. We have that injection in our cryo tank. Uh, all our injections, uh, we include up to four injection locations of a matrix. This is another thing that sets us apart because we don't charge per site. So if you have a stem cell injection in one knee and you have to pay more to have another injection in the other knee, this is, this is a clue, and people don't know this, but this is a clue to a less effective injection because an injection anywhere in your body is going to signal everywhere in your body. So we like to get it close to the area of inflammation, but the truth is, it doesn't really matter. This stuff is so strong that wherever we inject it, it's going to signal body-wide, all right? So this is why we come up with a matrix of how much core site, polycyte, and maybe some amniocyte. And you can get it in one place, or you can get it in two, three, or four, okay? We can, we can spread it around the body if you want. But this, what we have is exactly the same injection that he had. Everybody has pricing in their folder. Um, this gives you an idea. You know, it, we, in order to help people wrap their mind around this, what, am I, what is actually being injected in me? We've named them, and these are some formulas that we see used over and over again. The doc shot we named after Dr. McGill. It's two milliliters of coresite, a milliliter of polycyte, and a milliliter of amniocyte. All right, and so you'll notice we don't say unit. You're not getting a unit per knee, okay? That's misleading, and there's no information there. You have no information when somebody tells you a unit of stem cells. You don't know where they came from. You don't know how dense it is. You, don't, you aren't guaranteed that they were kept at negative 200, okay? We, so this is um, a major advantage to our patients that they know what they're getting. Pain shot, it's two milliliters of coresite, two milliliters of polycyte, all right? So you're talking about four cc's of product. So this is not one cc, this is four cc's. Discomfort and autoimmune, 
is one core site, one poly site, one amniocyte. Athletic edge. So the times that we use straight up core site, like I mentioned, is with a pro athlete, but we also use it for a booster because the body's already in prime condition. I, mean, I don't recommend a booster until it's like four or five months. Just give your body the time that it wants to with this. But this is um, one cc of core site, and this is two cc's of core site. Um, VIP wellness is Superman or Superwoman. This is, you know, the, the um, Superman shot we referenced before. I like to add the amniocyte um, when we give the Superman injection um, to a woman. This injection is so strong I can't even make it out of any of our other components. Um, it's, it's a full section of the umbilical cord, of, of the Wharton's jelly area in the umbilical cord. It's a, it's a full section. It's very strong, but we do add amniocyte to it when we give it to women. Everyone gets a free consultation with an MD. We are an MD-driven practice, okay? You see an MD, all right? We do patient education, we tell you the facts, and we help to educate you as far as how to think about this type of healing in the body, not covering symptoms with medication. There's no reason to not take your consult. Uh, you get, you're getting free face time. You know, and in Harrisburg, you're getting it with Dr. McGill. You know, 60 years of family practice, medicine, uh, an enormous, an enormous uh, history of experience, old school doctor, okay, loves to sit and talk to you. I, I, there, you have nothing to lose. Come down and, and talk to him, all right? Everybody has an inquiry form in their, uh, in their packet. I'd like you to fill it out. Um, you can check off conditions on the back that apply to you. Common, common thing I see, people only check off what they care about. Because we're conditioned into thinking we can only get help with certain things. Well, I have, I have five of these things, but I'm really just here for my knees. Check them all off. Because remember the analogy with the teacher making an announcement. We need to get a good idea of what's going on with your body so we can come up with the best recommendation for what to put in your body for everything, for everything to improve, okay? Uh, anything you've seen in the news that you're concerned about or you're confused about, you want to see a topic, you can include that as well. I call everybody to thank you for coming. Um, if I don't see you on the schedule for your free consult, I call and try to facilitate that. And our office uh, in Harrisburg is just right across the street from here, so it's really convenient. Uh, I thank everybody for coming and um, listening, and I tell everybody who's paying attention, great, thank you.